I'm 17 and i from friends with Texas. And Dee has um, osteogenesis imperfecta type 3 and he it's a brittle bone disease, short. Um, and so his bones are very fragile and because of that he can't like lift heavy objects or even actually light objects. We take care of a lot of kids with a lot of very special needs here and it's one of the frustrating parts of, of our practice is that we see the needs that they have that we can't fill, that we can't meet for them. Things that, and, and sometimes it's the simplest thing. So, for example, D, he's got osteogenesis imperfecta, which is brittle bone disease. So the slightest touch and he'll break. He'll have multiple fractures. And you would think his main complaint would be that he hurts all the time or that the bones are deformed and misshapen, but they're not. His, his biggest desire in life was to be able to reach things, to reach the light switch in his own house so he didn't have to call his mom to turn his light on and off. And that bugs him. I mean, he's a teenager now. That bugs him. So it was really phenomenal to be able to work with these talented engineers. These Rice students were phenomenal. Put together a fantastic robotic arm for him to solve exactly his problem. And I didn't think it was going to be like that cool of a thing. I, th I thought it would be cool, but then I saw it in July and I was like, it was really, really cool. And so now that I get it this time, I can't wait. What the team has done has been quite remarkable. They started out with what was a class project or one semester project and then persisted over a two year period to continue to work and to develop a project so that they could deliver it to their customer, um, D. This team has, again, without the motivation of grades per se, have really just taken a hold of this project, um, done an extraordinary job and, and finished the project in a way that very few student projects finish at Rice. exciting. He's learning how to do it and it's uh, neat to watch him be able to pick stuff up. And to see his independence, it's just really, um, it is exciting. I was just, it's been an inc incredible experience for us too. We never would have thought that we would be building a robotic arm for an actual patient. We would be helping people. Like when you come to college, it's not the first thing you think of. You're like, oh, I'm going to come to college and build something for someone. So. It's just been an incredible journey for us. Two years ago when we first started, I had absolutely no idea where this was going to go. In fact, I didn't even think that we were going to continue it. Um, at first it was just sort of like this project that I was working on, um, but slowly it developed into this um, personal investment. And this day is just amazing. It's, uh, it's the accumulation of all our hard work and um, everything since NG120 uh, to our undergrad research and uh, all the work that we've put into this project and it's just really great to see it all come together and Dee actually being able to use the arm. Um, especially since he's going to college next year. As a mom it makes me very excited for him to have that independence. Not to have to depend on me and his dad, you know, um, to do everything for him, you know, and, and I know, you know, he's supposed to be 18 and he, that's, that's exciting. Every 18 year old wants that independence and he's just like all the rest of the 18 year olds. He wants his independence too and this will get, that'll give him uh, the opportunity to go out and do more things on his own. 